Hello everyone, Glenda Mollett here and welcome to my craft room tonight. I'm going to be creating a card using the Oceanfront stamp set for you. I'm just going to get this set up so I can watch for comments. Oops, I forgot. I have to share it first. Share it to my VIP group, my wonderful peeps. There we go. Okay, that's done. Now I can look, watch for comments and see if anybody joins me tonight. So I did this card with my seniors group. Can't remember whether it was last week or the week before. You know, these the weeks they run into each other. Um, it's a really good stamp set. There is no dies. There's no punch. It's just the stamp set. Hi, Valerie. Connie. Hey, Janet. Nope. Didn't get staples for a mouse. Completely forgot about it. Still using hubbies. Yeah, well, you know. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> You'd think I would. I did get out for my walk this afternoon, though. I managed to get out there and do almost 5K. So I think that's better than taking that time and going to Staples for a mouse. Okay, Oceanfront stamp set. It has pieces to it that you can create scenes. You can do beach scenes. You can do mountain scenes. You can do desert scenes. You can do backyard scenes. You can do sand scenes. It all depends on how you use the pieces. And it's really good if you have to send your cards overseas because you don't want any stuff on them, right? I've added some faux, um, what are they called? Sea glass to mine. But you don't have to. And I've popped up the rocks and I've popped up the the sentiment. But you could do them flat as well. And it would fit in, be re relatively inexpensive to send overseas or down to the States where it costs more the thicker your card is. So this is the inside of it. I created a little bit of a scene as well. And then I created the same scene on the envelope. So the ladies really enjoyed making this card the other day. Here's the faux sea glass. They're just jade, old olive, and white. And these are going to... Hi, Yvonne. These are going to be in the new catalog when it launches... Oh my goodness, in like a week? When is it? A week tomorrow, the new catalog launches in excited. I've got a list. Did you see my list? I posted a picture of it. It's almost two and a half, well, page and a half. And I only showed you part of the list because I might have a little bit more on that list than a page and a half. <laughs> oh, nice, Val. That's awesome. So faux sea glass. We're going to use those tonight as decoration. So there's pieces to this stamp set. You have this one that's kind of like a square and you can use it as a sky or you can use it as water or you can use it as sand. You can use it for the top and you can use it for the bottom if you don't want to put a little scene in the corner and it works like my post-its on my cat. Yeah, your post-its. Yeah, huh? <laughs> Valerie's keeping the post-it company in business by herself with all the stuff that she wants. In the new catalog, I told her it would be easier just to mark the stuff she doesn't want. So um, this stamp set works really, really well with the dies from On the Horizon, you know, the, the fence one. And you can use the other dies as well. Unfortunately, they're not going to be in the new catalog. But we still have until the end of June to get those ones because they're in the mini. And the mini doesn't go away till the 30th of June. So you can use this for the top and or the bottom. 
And then there's this piece that you can use for a top and or a bottom. And it's got this little cutout slice. So here's this one. And you line up the flat, the straight edges on these. Took me a while to figure that out. And then there's this one. This one is kind of weird. I thought, well, you must line up the straight with the curved. And you can. It works that way. It depends on what you, what look you're going for. Or you can use it this way. So this is, I've used it this way on this card. Like that. But it will go in there too. Just, it depends on what kind of a, scene you're trying to make and then I haven't got them on this on a block because I'm not using them but there's a single rock and there's this little tuft of grass as well so I'm going to use the double rocks there's no dies, so I'm going to fussy cut those I'm going to use these and I think this is called sedge if either that one or this one is called sedge and I'm going to use that. And then, you know me and dots. I like my dots. So I'm going to put some dots on there. Because, you know, it's like using Wink Costella. It's just something that you need to do. You need to use dots. And I love how it adds texture to down here where the sand is. And you can fill it in. Make it look cool. The sentiment comes from... Hi, Carmen. Thanks for joining. It comes from Eden's Garden with this hello there. And I love it because you don't have, I don't know about you, but I send a lot of cards just because I want to send a lot of cards. Birthdays, yes. Anniversaries, yes. Um, if Pete, somebody is feeling ill, then I will send a card. But I like sending a card just because I want to send a card. And sometimes I want it to say, hi, I'm thinking of you. This does it, and I love this font. Okay, so I've been nattering now for almost 10 minutes, and now my nose is starting to run, so hang on, please. <laughs> you know, allergies outside all afternoon walking, and my nose, that doesn't go well together. So I've made this card. The base is your regular eight and a half by five and a half scored in the middle and folded in half. I've got a piece of five and a quarter by four for the inside. And the front, I made it a little different. It's three and a half by five and a quarter. So it's a little bit narrower, which is really cool. This one is one and a half by two to do the rocks. And this one is two and an eighth by five eighths to put the sentiment on there. So let's let's do some stamping. I don't have to cut anything out. Oh, I know. I don't want to wear my mask outside. However, it's a good idea to do it because, you know, I'm trying to find a clean piece of dirty paper. Um, it's horrible. And when I was on my walk, oh my God, I was so scared. This dog kind of came out from nowhere and it was skulking around behind me. You know how they they put their head down and their tail down and, and I'm walking and this dog is like doing this behind me. It's like following me. It kind of scared me. And I don't walk with a stick or anything yet. I'm going to start doing that. Hi, Louise. Um, so there I am walking along and this dog is skulking along behind me and I stopped and I got very big. I puffed myself up and I said in my loud, stern grandma voice, go home. And I'm pointing at this dog and trying to flip him away. And he just looks at me and he growls and he comes closer. It's like, okay, now what am I going to do? Because I didn't see anybody out there. And... I'm standing there telling this dog very sternly to go away, go home, go away. And this guy walks out from behind his house. And I said to him, is this yours? He said, yeah, just keep walking. He'll come home. So I turn around and start walking and the stupid thing follows me. So I stop 
And he said, oh, well, maybe just stop till I catch him. Okay, so the dog would not be caught. Didn't want to go anywhere near the owner. All he wanted to do was come up behind me. I don't know whether he was friendly or not, because I was not hanging around to find out. It scared me. And so next time I go that way, I'm going to avoid that particular street. Because I don't want to be attacked by a dog while I'm out there. Stupid thing. And you know, if you, if you get bit, my neighbor got bit. Last fall, I think it was, she was down walking our local trail, which we call the dike. And she got bit and he drew blood and she had to go to the hospital. And she went to the police and she went to the SPCA and they wouldn't do anything about it. Absolutely nothing. And she had to go back to the doctor a couple of times because it started to get infected and there was nothing they would do about it. I know, stupid dog. Okay, so this is the colors I'm using. Blushing Bride, Pool Party, Grey Granite, Old Olive, Early Espresso, and Blackberry Bliss. Enough of my nattering end. I froze. I did. I froze. I just, well, I didn't freeze. I stood there with my arms crossed, and I'm still very sternly telling him to go away because I knew if I froze, he would take over and think that I was afraid and he would come at me. So I didn't want that to happen. Next time I go that way, I'm going to have a really big stick. That'll get him. Okay, so I'm going to stamp the sky in Blushing Bride. And I'm going to keep the flat end to the bottom. Ink it up. And I want it. I want it. No, I want it to be just down just a little bit. And I want the horizon to be straight. Get some pepper spray. Oh, wouldn't that be a smart idea? teach that dog a lesson, wouldn't it? Okay, there's the sky. See how easy it is? Oh, I froze in the video. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not frozen for me. Does anybody else see me frozen? Okay, pool party to do the water. I hope your cable is better soon. This is the piece I'm going to use. I'm going to line. Oh, it's not straight on there. It's going to drive me crazy. I'm going to line up the straight edge with the straight edge of the Blushing Bride. Oh, well, just keep watching, Val. Hopefully you won't miss too much. You can always go back and catch the rewind. Rewind. Replay. Okay, so I'm going to line that edge up with that edge. And you can do it right up against each other or you can leave a little bit. I don't know what this is going to be because I really can't see because if I get my head in the way, you won't be able to see. So there we go. And I love this, how it's got kind of wave-like action in there. And apparently I have a little bit of a horizon there. Oh, well, it is what it is. <laughs> go out and come back. That's it. I'm going to teach that a lesson, eh? <laughs> now I'm going to use gray granite. You could use, um, what's that stuff called? Crumb cake. Hi, Wendy. Okay, so I'm going to put this this way on here. Like that. Ink, 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 ink. I got my videos done for my Seize the Day class. So registration is now open for that. There we are. That's that part. Now I'm going to get my the dots and we'll do some dit dit dotting on here. And I kind of like to rotate it a bit just so it doesn't look all the same. And that's it. That's the whole scene. So I did a sneak peek on Friday, I think, of this shaker card. But I want to show you. I don't want to show you the whole thing because, you know, 
that's for class members. But do you see those things in the shaker card? You see those? Those are called effervescent elements. And they're in the new catalog. They're little round glass-like balls. I don't think they're glass. They're probably acrylic or something. But they make amazing things for shaker cards. Because you don't have to worry about static. You don't have to worry about them catching on stuff that you've got in the background. Really cool. And you, if when you register for my class and you buy the option one, which is the bundle and a package of in-color shimmer, glimmer paper. Let me show you what the glimmer paper is. So there's a, see that? That's the new Parakeet Party glimmer paper. So I use all five colors on the cards. And the so the bundle and a package of that and the three card kits is one option. That's $110 and you get the card kits for free. Or you can get the three card kits and a quarter package of um, glimmer paper for $23. And for those two options, you're going to get some of those effervescent elements in your kits in a little baggie. And then, of course, there's the tutorial only option. And if you subscribe to my monthly tutorial, you'll get those three cards plus a special edition card that is for subscription members only. And all four cards have background techniques. I should have used this stamp set as one. Okay, so I'm just, this is old olive. I'm stamping the tall grass in. They're going to be fun to use. Now, I'm going to use a Blackberry Bliss. And the bulrushy, grassy type thing. And it's going to go right in here like that. And I'm not worried about the bottom because that's all going to be covered up by the rock. Now, while I got that out, I'll stamp the sentiment too. Yeah, so registration is open for that. By May the 8th, you have to register for option one. That includes the bundle so I can get the bundle to you. That The bundle is the, that option. Option number one, shipping, handling, postage, everything is included in that price. And they will come direct to you from stamping up. Okay, so there's my sentiment. Get rid of this. So if you're interested in that, send me a, a message or click on the link in that I've got posted everywhere. I've started using Google Forms for registration for my classes, so I want to see how it's going to go. Okay. Anybody else out there? Or am I just nattering too much and you don't want me to... You want me to shut up for a while. Early espresso to do the rocks. So I'm just going to stamp those on this piece of paper here. Like that. And this is one of those um, distinctive stamp sets. So the stamp set does all the work for you. You just have to ink it and stamp it. Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit of trimming here. This is really easy to cut. You don't have to be dipsy doodling like I am. You can just count, cut them round. You could cut right up against them if you want. You don't have to put the little bit of frame around them. Personally, I like when I, I'm hand cutting, 99% of the time I like to have that extra little frame around the outside. Except last night when I did my waves class, there is a couple, one, one, one of the cards we had to stamp three of the birds on a piling. And then we cut out the pilings. 
and did something different to them. It was really quite cool. And those were cut right up against the the stamped image. We didn't leave a, a frame around the outside. Um, something shipped today, Valerie, but I haven't had a chance to go in and find out what order it is. I will check and let you know. Oh, and I got I got your card and check today too, Val. I was going to show it at the beginning. <laughs> Carmen is stamping and listening at the same time. So there we go. That's what our card is going to look like. So let's just do a little interval, and I'm going to show you the card that I received tonight. Today, this is from Valerie. Isn't that cute? I really miss this bundle. She's put Wink of Stella all over it. One of my favorite embossing folders in the background. I really miss this bundle. And then, wait, wait. There, the inside. It's supposed to be a Valentine's card. But Valerie does what I do. She sends a card just because she wants to send the card. I love it. And she didn't put this, this isn't attached. She used a couple of little hearts to hold it in place because this one, you're supposed to fold it like that. So it's really difficult to get adhesive on that little narrow thing. So she didn't use it. She just attached it using a couple of hearts in there. I love it. Thanks, Valerie. I did get a couple of swap cards, but I don't want to show them yet because... They're to follow. During my catalog launch party, you'll get to see those ones. Filled up my stamp and seal today. Both of them were empty. Okay, oops. This is going to go on here. Oh, I was making a card today. I made it upside down. Yep. Had to take the whole front off and turn it around. Apparently I wasn't paying attention, but I made three cards today using new stuff for my launch party. I made one more card out of the Sweet Songbird. I've already made one. So now I got the two, and I made two cards using the Wisteria Wishes. Oh my gosh, I like that. Oh my. Hang on. So this is Sweet Songbird. It's really cute, and there's a punch that goes with it. So this is relatively inexpensive, this bundle. And it's got some really nice sentiments, and you can make cool cards out of it. And then Wisteria Wishes. Oh, ladies. You're going to love this one. And you should see the card I made. And it's dies. And I used these dies in one of my Sweet Songbirds cards to make the branch that they're sitting on. So that's what I was doing today before I went for my walk. Okay. Let's do this. And I'm going to be live on Wednesday. I have my paper pumpkin here that I have not had a chance to even take the plastic off yet. Oh, you want Wisteria Wishes for your club order, Louise? Nice. You'll have to remind me, though, because, you know, I'm stamping, so I won't remember. Okay, so I've lined this one up right with the edge but I think I'm going to overlap this one just a bit to do something a little different there we are now put some Wink of Stella on the rocks it's a beautiful set you will not regret that decision 
and it goes so nice with the new Orchid Oasis um, cardstock and ink. There. A little bit of playing with the Wink of Stella. Now we're going to do the inside and the envelope. So I need my dirty paper back out. Uh-oh, too much housework? Just do what I do, Valerie. Ignore the housework. It'll be there eventually. And then we had company this morning, and there I am. My house is filthy. I don't care. If you come to see me, you don't come to see my house. I hope. Oh, well, they didn't like it. They won't be back. Okay, I've got my hill and we'll just put a hill here about like that this is the inside oh I have to re-ink this ink pad I think I've been re-inking all day and on the envelope fill it in with some dots There we are. Some dots on this one. Hi, Leanne. My friend Leanne from Saskatchewan. Okay, so that's the hill and the dots. Now I'll get that long, skinny thing out. And we'll put that right here. And on the envelope, because you know I never send out a naked envelope. <laughs> oh. Well, I told you at the beginning of tonight, I enjoy sending cards out. I send a lot. I have That was my biggest expense from last year when I did my taxes is my postage but you know what I don't care I just like sending cards okay stamping is complete just stick the inside inside uh oh I don't know whether that's mung or not no oh, well So tomorrow I'll be making more cards with the new stuff. I'm going to be using, um, I have one more to make with sending smiles because I've already got one. I like to have two of each one then. And then nature's prints. Oh, oh, look at this. Is that not an amazing, it's right up there with forever fern. And look, a blotch. I love blotches. So that's that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Yeah. Oh my is right. And the paper. Oh, the paper. That um, Nature's Prints belongs to a collection. And it's got paper. Let me show you the paper. So it's called Sun Prints. Look, look at this. Ooh la la. Now these little two by two squares really don't do it justice because just look at this. Hang on, let me get the full sheets out and show you. Look at this. So it's gray granite, night of navy, Pacific Point, and starry sky. So can you see in the background there? Pacific Point is in there. Starry sky, night of navy. And then this is the other side. Like, this is spectacular too. And look at this one. If you're a scrapbooker, 
Oh my. And even if you're not a scrapbooker, this would make an amazing card front. And then you flip it over and look at this. Oh, it would make such a pretty star or sky background. And then flick, flick, um, wink of Stella on it. Oh, it would be gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. And look at this splotchies. Look. And then stripes. Perfect paper for mail cards. Absolutely perfect. This one would too. Like there's this one on this side would make a really nice mail card. Then there's these um dandelion poofy things. Look at them. And it's got all the colors in here. Well, it doesn't have the crumb cake, but no, gray granite. Oh Lord, I'm putting it all over my ink, my stamps that have ink on them. And then this. Now, I don't know whether you can tell on the back here, there's writing in white very faintly in the background. It is stunning. And then this one with these gorgeous flowers on there. Another perfect one for men on the back of that. And the last one, look at this. Oh, old world cards, absolutely. And then look at this stunning on the back. Even the gray granite part of this paper is amazing. So that's what goes with this Nature's Prints stamp set. And then there's the, there's dies. Natural Prints dies that go with it. <laughs> Get out the post-it notes now. <laughs> I told you, just mark the ones you don't want. Um, this has another wreath on it. I cut these out. Hang on, let me find them. I finally, finally got all my... See, I did the daffodils. The stylish shapes. There's the punch for the songbird. Then there we got those fabulous frames. Remember I was telling you about how it cuts the frames out and then you've got the piece in the middle. So there's the fabulous frames. This is the wisteria one. So you can have these as hanging down from, see there's got the stems here, or you could, they also provided stand-up stems so they can be, I don't know what kind of flowers they would be, really cool flowers, anyways. And then here's, then there's the Sending Smiles one, so it has the words. And this is Nature's Prints with the Natural Prints dies. We have another wreath. And this one is not exactly circular so when you cut it out with two different things and turn them they're going to fill in a lot nicer than the last one did but look at this label here I've used that a couple of times it is amazing so that's what I managed to get done this weekend was finally get all my silhouettes done for all of these dies because sometimes you look at these and you think what does that look like and you think, oh, would that be big enough or small enough for my sentiment? Or is it too big? Or So I do the silhouettes and then I can take my stamp and I can just put my stamp over top of it and I'll be able to tell. Lupin, absolutely. Thank you, Leanne. Lupin. And you know how much, if you live in BC, you know how many Lupins are in BC. Because when they, when they do road work, and they spread out those wildflower seeds. It's full of lupin. Gorgeous purple lupin. Oh my. Um, lupin, if you live up north, lupin is full of aphid. Ugh, used to make my skin crawl looking at it. But I still have them. Well, I have them in my garden too. My neighbor plants them. All right. Well, there's our card. What do you think? Cool? 
What time is it? We still have time. Do you want to make another scene? We'll do a we'll do a scene um, of your choice. Do you want to do a grass scene? Let me get another piece of paper. I won't take the time to do the whole card. I'll just do a card front. And I'm going to cut it down to three and a half. Thanks, ladies. Yes. Thanks, Valerie and Carmen and Janet. It is a nice, lovely, simple card. Okay, so let's let's see if we can make a mountain scene. Do you think we can make this into a mountain? So what color do you want the sky to be? Um, balmy blue, maybe? Should we do balmy blue for the sky? I need to get my cleaner. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oops, over there. Hang on. Got to get my cleaner. Just going to quickly clean all these stamps so that we can use different colors. Oops. That one just fell on the floor. It was my grass. Um, that grass. And this one. Let's see what we can come up with. Okay. Let's do, let's see if we do that and have that the sky. We have that the sky. And then put this in as a mountain. And then have this, that might work. Pickled herring. Oh, nice. Pickled herring. <laughs> I'm sorry. My dad used to love pickled herring. Of course, I'm not a big fish eater anyways. So, Okay, so we're going to put a sky in. There's the sky. Now we'll put, get um, pear pizzazz, I think. Oh, do you like pickled herring, Yvonne? Well, somebody's got to eat it. Okay, I'm going to, going to ink up some pear pizzazz. We'll stick some pear pizzazz in there for the grass. Well, you know what? I didn't put the I didn't put the bling on that other card. Uh-oh. Don't let me forget to put that on. Okay, it's that and that and that. Now, um I need a dark <laughs> buy it for the picks. I'm going to put some mountains in there. I'm thinking mossy meadow. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know they came with wine too. Okay. I just would like to say full disclosure. I have no idea what this card's going to look like when we're done. Come on. needs Ink, 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 ink. Hopefully this is going to work. Oh, that's cool. Now what would happen if we put it upside down? No. Okay. So we have our mountain-y thing in there. 
Now let's go in with crumb cake. Ah, mop roll. So they're the rolly up ones. I don't remember which ones Dad used to eat. I just remember pickled herring. Thanks, Carmen. I'm hoping it'll look okay. We're gonna put we're gonna put some dirt down here. Down here like this. And then let me grab another piece of white. I have a piece in my garbage. Nope. I want to do those rocks again and cut them out because I like that. Let me just grab a grab a hunk. A hunk of white. Out the early espresso. And the rocks go. Rocks, rocks, where are you? We aren't. I'm gonna do two just in case we decide we want to use two. There's the rocks. And um, let's put some grasses in there. I'm going to put the rocks on the right hand side this time. We'll put those grasses in there like that get some old olive and get out the other grass that we didn't use. Put that on here. And we'll just put a couple of these on there. Like that. I hope it'll look beautiful. We'll see. Cut the rock out. Now you could just put the rock right over top. I find I don't like that because then, you know, you still see the um, the rest of it in behind. Oh, I didn't put the dots on yet. Can't put the rock on. I'll put the dots on. We should get out the pebbles and use the pebbles on this one. Because they're still around till the end of June, too. I can't believe they're taking the pebbles away from us. Because right up there with the horizon stuff that they're taking away. They're still available, though. So if you haven't got your, haven't got your rocks yet, you need to get some rocks. Okay, here we go. There's our rock. It's going to go right there. Now, I think I might want the two of them. So let me just cut out a second set. We'll see. Then I'll grab some pebbles. I'll put some pebbles around the bottom of them. What do you think of the card so far? What do you think? Of? See, same stamps. Completely different look. Oh, my nose is starting to plug up again. Stupid allergies. I keep forgetting. To, I want to go and try some different allergy stuff, too. I'm going to go get some of that Arius, because I heard that stuff's pretty good. Two sets of rocks. Bellishments that are the little iridescent beads would make great sand. Um, which ones are you? Do you mean, Belle? The ones in the new catalog, the effervescent elements. Okay, this rock is going to go down here, flat. 
and then we'll pop this rock. We have them pop rocks. Put that up. Pop that up. Oh shoot! Okay, I will give it a try, Carmen. Thanks, Leanne. Okay, dots. I forgot to put the dots on. Am I going to be able to get this up? Of course I am, because I used Stampin' Seal. And it comes out really good. Okay. Get this in here so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so there's some dots there. Now, I'm just going to clean it. And get my pear pizzazz. And put some dots on the field as well. There we go. And you know what I need up there? I need those birds. What stamp set were those birds in? Anybody remember? Okay, there's those. And the sun. Need the sun and the birds. What stamp set were those in? Um. On the horizon, the birds. Oh, but the waves won. Don't know whether I want that many birds. Do we want that many birds, or shall I just use the ones in the waves? Now there's the, the sun somewhere. Where did the sun in? now I'm trying to think of it only ink half of the stamp yeah I could do that I don't remember where that is a really good idea paradise palms absolutely right let's put the sun from paradise palms in there and then we'll put the birds going through the sun. Okay. Um, daffodil delight. Daffodil delight. Put the sun in right about there. I'm so excited. This is such a cool, cool card. And we'll use, no. Yep, we'll use early espresso for the birds. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I don't want that many birds. I think I want, I think we'll use only the top three. So let me see if I can actually pull this off. Oh yeah, then I, I inked the wrong part. Oh. My gosh. Hey, we'll just try this again. I say I want to ink the top three and then I ink them all. Or ink the bottom ones. So the top, the top three I want are those ones. Okay, let's see if I can ink just the top three. Perfect. Okay, and we'll put some birds right there. I love it! <laughs> okay, card base. 
part inside. Card base. Oh, I picked up one of my cards that I made a couple of weeks ago to put it in my basket for my samples. And I, you know how sometimes when I'm creating, I'll, I'll audition the card fronts and not put it on all the way. And I picked it up and the front fell off because I hadn't actually done the whole, th attached the whole thing. Okay. Crumb cake. Hill. We'll put the hill the other way this time. Let's put it on this side. Dots. Did I get an envelope? Aww. I don't know whether I did or not, but I don't know what I did with it, so we'll just do another one. Okay, this one will go this way. Some dots on there. You should see the pile of ink pads I've got out here. Good Lord. All right. Grass. I love this grass. That's why I keep using it. Grass there. Grass there. Old olive. Little grass. Oh, I took it off the block. Oh, that's cool, Val. Valerie's granddaughter is graduating this year. Oh, look, I got Mung on there. Good Lord. Put some grass in here. Like that. And a couple on here. Like that. Now this is ticking me off, so I've got to start another one. Let's see if I can actually do this without getting put birds. Oh, I could do that. I could do that. We could put birds coming in from that side. Where are the birds? I was going to turn it over, but it's... It's got mung on the other side too, because apparently I got it in the open ink pad. Maybe we should do them all. Right like that. There, sort of. Let's make a whole, a whole raft of them. There we go. Might as well put some on this one too. Perfect. I agree. Now, let's see if there's any mung on my hands put this inside. See, I got mung up there too. Good gosh. And then we're going to put the bling on. So there you go. You see how this stamp set is so versatile. Just use your imagination. And this would look really cool with one of those fences right there too. But, you know. Okay. Um, where are my pebbles? There they are. We'll put pebbles on this one, and I'll put my faux seagrass on the other one. Just 
just a little bit of pebbles. Right there. Maybe one down here too. Hmm. Not really liking that one there. I think I'll get it up without ruining my card. There, that's better. All right. Rock of Ages. <laughs> There's no sentiment on this card either, and I don't want to put one on. Rock me like a hurricane. Hey, Norma. Happy birthday, Norma. I hope you had a wonderful day. I know you had to work. That sucks, ditch water. If anybody in town knows anybody who's looking for work, the casino is desperately looking for people up there. So I'm just going to put some sea glass on there. Just like that. So I'd sing happy birthday to you, but I think people would go away. <laughs> okay, there we go. Well, what do you think of our impromptu card? Sucks, ditch water. Yeah, I know. I use that a lot. It's not really a nice saying, but sometimes it just expresses the way I'm feeling. Winky on the rocks. Is that another song? Valerie, Winky on the Rocks. I'll have a Winky on the Rocks, please. Anybody who drinks. Maybe that could be a new drink. And here, and I have to be careful because this is, this is uh, Blackberry Bliss, so it will reactivate really. And some up there. In the sun. Ta-da! Thank you! Oh, you've made one? Good for you, Janet. I like this. I like that, too. See, different ways to use the pieces. It's You're only limited by your imagination. Hi, Connie. Yvonne, you're right. The sun and the birds really do make that one really cool. And a couple of the sets of rocks. Put some pebbles in there. Yep. Thanks, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed them. I've enjoyed creating with you. Um, I have my In Color Club. Let me just quickly tell you about my In Color Club. Let me get the paperwork. So I'm having an in-color club for the new catalog. There's one spot left. Sentiment. No, I don't want to put a sentiment on this one, Yvonne. I want to leave it the way it is. I think I'll just leave it like that. I think that rock is crooked, but that's okay. Thanks, Wendy. Thanks, Janet. Okay, in-color club. Five people, runs for five months, $80 a month, gets you these things. So this one is taken too. I just got um, an email today that that spot is taken. So we got one spot left. Each month you're going to get ink pad reinker, cardstock, stamp and blends. And then first month you're going to get glimmer paper and card kits. The second month, you're going to get the markers and the card kits. The third month, you get the designer paper and the card kits. The fourth month, you get Baker's Twine and card kits. The fifth month, you get matte decor dots, the opal rounds for last year's in colors, and that is um, a gift from me. That's extra. And then after I got this all set up, I realized that I hadn't included the new metallic ribbon for the new in colors. So each month I'm going to send you some ribbon too. 
So this is the ribbon. This is the, the gorgeous ribbon. Now, you're not going to get full spools. You'll get two yards of each color. So by the time the five months is up, you'll have two yards of each of those. So I'm going to, um, whatever color you get in the month, that's the color of ribbon you'll get. So member number one in, in month one is going to get Parakeet Party. And then number two gets Tahiti Tide. Number three gets Orchid Oasis. Um, and it, it goes like that. Now, most of them, most of this stuff will be shipped to you direct from Stampin' Up! And I will ship the cards to you. You're very welcome, Janet. So if you're interested in this spot that's left, um, send me a message. Send me an email and let me know that you, it's a great way to get all of the stuff plus card kits every month. And, of course, there's going to be a Zoom, and we'll stamp them together. We'll stamp the card kits together each month. Or you can do them by the, the video tutorials, because, as usual, they will all have video tutorials for them. Okay, I think that's it. Thanks for hanging out. I'm not going to be live tomorrow night, but I'm going to be live on Wednesday night at 8 o'clock to do the Paper Pumpkin Kit. It's still sitting here. Hang on. Let me grab it. It's still sitting here on my table. See? It's still wrapped up in the plastic. I haven't even had a ch chance to open it. This one is called Change is Beautiful. And you've probably seen the cards. There's a lot of them out there. So we'll do those on Wednesday night at 8. Good night, Connie. You're very welcome. Good night, Yvonne. And good night, everybody. Thanks for stamping with me. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Stampin' Smiles. Bye for now.